Announcing the arrival of young uh, Ahmad Mulia Tun Kuzin Al Abidin Tuanku Muhris, President of the Institute for Democracy and Economic Affairs, Yang Bahormat Senator Datuk Paul Lau, Minister at Prime Minister's Department, and Her Excellency Victoria Trudell, High Commissioner of the United Kingdom to Malaysia. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all. Thank you for joining us this morning at the OGP Seminar on Open Data for Good Governance, Civic Engagement and Economic Growth, organized by the Coalition of Governance, Integrity, Accountability and Transparency, or GIAT, whose members are the Institute for Democracy and Economic Affairs, IDEAS, the Center to Combat Corruption and Cronyism, C4, SINA Project, Transparency International Malaysia and Friends of Kota Damansara. Without further ado, join me in welcoming Yang, Mulia, Yang Mat Mulia Tunku Zain Al Abidin Tuanku Muhris, founding president of Ideas, to give his welcoming remarks. Thank you, Fariza. Um, very warm welcome, Your Excellency. Uh, British High Commissioner to Malaysia, uh, Victoria Treadle, Dr. Paul Lau, Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, um, friends from the OGP Secretariat, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and former colleagues, I believe, I hope I can see in the audience. Um, I'm very pleased to represent not just ideas this morning, but also the coalition that we've recently uh, co-formed uh, to, uh, to, uh, to promote good governance. And I think, as uh, Fariza mentioned, the GIAT, the Governance, Integrity, Accountability, and Transparency uh, Coalition, uh, comprises of ideas, Transparency International Malaysia, the Centre Centre to Combat Cronyism and Corruption, Project Sina, and Friends of Kota Damansara. So all of us are trying to uh, work together to promote a more open government. And today uh, is our first joint event that we're organizing. Uh, and it marks a huge step, hopefully, uh, in the cooperation of civil society organizations interested in pushing uh, for better governance levels in the country. So ranging from not only from our public institutions, uh, but also to the very highest echelons of government, a very pertinent and relevant issue at the moment. And no other framework captures our collective efforts better than the Open Government Partnership, or OGP. In short, the OGP is a platform that has been adopted by 65 countries in the world, which allows governments to work alongside civil society to make governments more open, accountable, and responsive to citizens. They do this by working together to develop and implement ambitious open government reforms. So today we're very fortunate to have representatives from the United Kingdom, uh, Mr. Antonio, who has been at the forefront of the OGP, and even the person behind, uh, and he is the person behind data.gov.uk. Uh, so he'll be sharing his experiences with us. Um, in the region, only Indonesia and the Philippines have taken bold steps to sign up to the OGP, uh, and we're also fortunate to have uh, uh, representatives uh, from there to share their experience with us. Unfortunately, Malaysia still falls short, as it does not yet have freedom of information laws, at least at the federal level, nor a comprehensive asset declaration system for public officials. And this morning in the, in the holding room, uh, I was talking about my, my past experience in the House of Commons. I worked there for a year. And I remember one of the first, the House of Commons in the UK, um, I was working for an MP, and one of the things I remember is that one of the first projects I did there relied entirely on invoking the Freedom of Information Act. We would write to all these health providers around, around the country asking them, because uh, it's the NHS, it's the government-run uh, health system, and we asked them, how many uh, drug addicts, how many uh, patients did you send to my constituency? Uh, and it's the Freedom of Information Act that enabled us to collate the data and create a pattern and understand where patients are coming from, and with that to then make reforms at a local level. So uh, I, I've, I've seen firsthand how uh, having an, a Freedom of Information law can have unexpected uh, but uh, useful uh, impact on uh, local communities. So the theme today is focused on the importance of open data and how access to information can bring about benefits to both governments and businesses. I look forward to hearing more on, uh, from governments and corporations on how data has helped them in creating better value, increasing public trust in what they have to offer, 
and finally improving upon the products and services they bring to society. So this underscores the synergy we hope to bring to such events, bringing together stakeholders from government, civil society and private sector, increasingly important given the impacts, uh, both positive and negative, accruing from government transparency or lack thereof. Ultimately, we hope to convince government that changing the culture of secrecy to one of openness, transparency and accountability and providing more information will increase public support and public trust. And we hope the event today will add to these voices. And thank you all once again uh, for coming and especially to our friends who've flown in from overseas. Enjoy the, the afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Tunku Abide.